Welcome back to the channel everyone. Back at you today with a non-Zwift video. I know it probably feels like that's all I've been doing recently, but the really awful weather in Kansas in February and January doesn't uh, give you a whole lot of opportunity to do the fun stuff outdoors. So taking a, a good weather day today and I'm gonna do a quick update on my Hunt Aero Wide Disc 34 millimeter wheels. The uh, claimed fastest alloy wheel set um, ever produced per Hunt's claims. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I like about them, what I don't like about them, what issues I've had with them over my time with them, how I've been using them, all that good stuff. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start this off with one of the things that I really like about this wheel set, and it is very light. We'll go ahead and put a link up on the screen of the previous video I did in which I weighed these wheels, and they are super light for an alloy wheel set that's also 34 millimeters deep. So that is one thing that's really good. You can really feel how lively they are on the road compared to say, you know, a, a, an OEM set of, uh, you know, Shimano RS wheels or something like that. So you can really feel the difference in riding because of that really low weight. All right, so one thing that I don't like about this wheel set. Yes, they're aerodynamic. However, being an alloy wheel, in order to get the really truly aerodynamic shape, you'd be really increasing the weight on that. Uh, so they aren't really as wide as I would like them to be. I'd really like to see like a 23C internal width and possibly a 40 millimeter deep wheel. I really think that would benefit the aero advantages, especially for my purposes, since I use these primarily for gravel. For road, uh, you know, that 20C internal is probably sufficient. However, you're not gonna get that 105% uh, rule for the width uh, of the wheel to the tire um, with a standard, you know, uh, 25 or 28C tire that most people are running these days. Next up on my list of things that I like, the hubs. The hubs on these wheels are excellent. Uh, they are the EZO bearing, uh, Japanese bearing hubs, and they are extremely durable. The free hub, obviously free hub sound is a subjective thing. Some people like them really loud, some people like them quiet. I personally really like this sound. Um, initially they were a bit too loud. However, I did pull them apart and re-grease them over the winter as part of my standard maintenance and that quieted them down just a touch. So um, I really like the, the sound that they're producing now. Also put quite a few miles on them. Absolutely no grittiness in the bearings at all. Completely free rolling. Um, unlike my Prime RR50 wheels that I've done previous videos on where the little itty bitty tiny bearings in there uh, wore out pretty quick and I had to get those replaced. These I think are really going to last me a good long while. So next up on my list of things that I don't like, and this one is a biggie, durability. I really feel like these wheels are not quite as durable as they should be. So when people typically ask me about these wheels, a lot of times I'll say cheap, fast, reliable, pick two, and where these lack is that reliability. Um, they're not as durable as I'd like. Granted, I'm a pretty uh, uh, harsh use case on these, primarily using them for gravel. However, over my time, both front and rear wheels have went out of true and I had to get them trued up at the shop. I've had a front spoke snap and had to get that replaced. And while I was ordering it, I went ahead and got a uh, couple of extra spare spokes, both for front and rear. And lastly, and this is one of the things that did impact me on the Belgian waffle ride is the tubeless tape on those leaked quite profusely for me. Jason, 
Now, I do have to say, I did buy these wheels used. How they were used prior to me having them, I don't know. I know at least one of the wheels had the tubeless tape replaced on it, so that could be it. However, I did have to go back on both the front and rear and redo the tubeless tape. So keep that in mind. Um, on the Belgian waffle ride, my rear started leaking down uh, late into the race, and I did find out after uh, going back and taking a look at it that it was leaking through the tubeless tape into the wheel cavity itself and out through a spoke so I went back resealed it up haven't had any issues since then but I also haven't done any huge really taxing rides like the Belgian waffle ride and that leads me to the final thing uh, that I like about these wheels and that is that they are inexpensive so they do have their flaws but they're relatively inexpensive and a lot of times I'm going back and looking at ways that I can get a better wheel set. I've really, really strongly considered the Zip 303S wheels. Wider, lighter, carbon, more aerodynamic. Uh, but you know, the, the cost is significantly more than these. And I just really have to ask myself, how much am I going to benefit by going to those for the added cost? Is it a big enough uh, jump in performance going from the Hunt uh, Arrow Wide 34 disc wheels to a Zip 303S? I don't know. Um, don't have a set of those to test. I would love to do a back-to-back -back comparison, uh, but I just haven't really found the justification to outlay that cost for it. So anyway, all right, so those are my three likes and two dislikes about my Hunt 34 Aero Wide Disc wheels. If you have any questions about these, go ahead, drop them down in the comments. I really love getting into those conversations and I can really put together some uh, good thoughts um, when you ask questions. So feel free to get involved down there. Um, like I always say, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up if you like this video, if you found it helpful. And dude, just go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Most everybody that watches my channel are not subscribed to it. Really help me out if you subscribe to the channel. So just go ahead, whack that button there. Anyway, thanks again. Hope this video helps. Until next time, enjoy your ride.